video, uh, just a shout out for those who might be feeling in isolation and those who might be in different needs in different ways. It's great that we can connect with either via phone or text message or some of the new uh, apps that are out there using you know, Facebook Messenger or Google Hangouts or different things so that we can keep in contact with one another. But just to let you know that in some situations, uh, whether somebody's older or whether somebody's even in isolation or whatever's going on, in some situations as a pastor, I, I know I need to actually go visit the people. And even though there's social distancing and even though some might be even in isolation because they have a head cold or something going on and waiting testing and they might not have a coronavirus, they just might have something else going on. Or some people might be sick for other reasons that they still need possibly at times that pastoral visit or maybe even if they're in isolation that maybe I'm the one that to bring along some messages or something, you know, that they need or some shopping stuff, you know, different needs. Uh, they, they could be. You know, my, maybe no family around. Maybe they're from another country or from another county and there's not many family around. So I just want you to know that at this moment, I'm still doing vis visitations where necessary. But also saying that I do take it very wisely and to be wise. We're called to be wise. We're called to minister where we can minister, but still wise, but obeying the government and so forth and so on. Now at this moment, there's not such a total lockdown that we're not allowed to travel on the streets and I do hope that even if they do have a severe lockdown, that as a pastor, I will be able to uh, go visit people and conduct pastoral care, but still with very much uh, wisdom. And so for that reason, I still minister in different ways. And I just want to give you a short little video of showing some of the steps I take uh, in doing that. So come along with me and see what I do. So not only uh, do I want to take care of myself in the sense of washing my hands and disinfecting my hands as I do, you know, wash my hands thoroughly and then disinfecting my hands as well, um, both coming out and going back in. But I also disinfect the handles on the car because, of course, you're going in and out and God knows what you're touching. So I'm doing that as well so that anytime I'm visiting someone pastorally, that I can still visit them pastorally and it's not in any way affecting them. So it's just one of the things to do to make sure everything is done thoroughly and uh, yeah, to make sure everybody's safe. So here I am, I'm just about to visit uh, Pauline. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is this, is I'm actually going to put on gloves. Now, I've already sanitized my hands. I've already sanitized the doors and stuff that I do regularly so that that's all sanitized. But when I'm visiting someone, you know, they might even have a head cold or something like that, or they might be fine or whatever. So I just want to take precautions because, again, if I'm visiting someone else, I'm just going to put on gloves. I'm afraid I have the big bluey ones, so I'm like a smurf with the gloves. But the first thing I'm going to do is just put on the gloves now as well. So I have plenty of gloves. I got plenty supply of gloves for myself. And uh, then I can, you know, I have such a good su supply that if I want to, then I can actually, you know, keep keep changing the gloves. I have plenty of them. Oh, if I can get them out. And so that's the first thing I'll do. Turn off the car, of course. And after I do that, then I'm going to ring Pauline and you'll see what happens from there. So we're going to ring. We're going to Get the gloves on. Okay, big blue gloves, Smurf gloves. Yeah, I couldn't get out. They ran out of all the the fleshy color ones, the nice color ones where you don't look like an absolute crazy person. That has everywhere. I cannot look a bit crazy these days. Now I also have masks as well. I have. No, I don't have many masks. I just have masks. Now masks are only used really if you're sick, so that you're not coughing on someone. So of course, if I was coughing or if I had something. I wouldn't really be visiting anyone and this is only really if I have to visit someone because there's some people as I said they mightn't be able to use phones and technology and stuff like that and uh, particularly as this goes on and they might need if they're older or if they're whatever you know whatever's going on they might need that kind of visitation that's a little bit more than just a phone call or a little bit more than face-to-face -face technology and of course we have to be very careful and I have to be very careful as everyone, particularly not only for them and for me, but also if I'm visiting someone else's every day as well. So I have to take that maybe that little bit of extra precaution just out of just being just being wise. Simple as that. It's just being wise. So now I'm going to actually ring Pauline and see if she's there and then we'll take it from there.
Hi, Pauline. Good, good, good. I'm actually outside the door there, so I'll be just coming to you there if you wouldn't mind meeting me at the door there. I'll I'll be on my I'll have my chair and everything. No See you in a sec, so okay. Bye okay. bye. Bye. So that's what's gonna happen is I ring the person beforehand and we'll meet at the door now. So let's go on. So what I also have now, of course, is I have my chair because some people like to talk a bit longer than others. So just in case I'm a bit of a lazy sod, I can be able to sit down as well, just like everybody else. So. Hi Pauline. Hi Tom, how are you? Good, good, good. How have you been feeling? Good. Good. How's the rest of the family? All good? All good. All good. If you don't mind, I actually have my chair with me here. Good. Social distancing and all that. No so problem. I'm lazy, sir. So, keep them well? Keep them well. Good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, Pauline, just to let you know, I'm actually recording this because of different people I'm visiting and stuff. I just want them to see what I'll be doing for those who I'm visiting, particularly if they're feeling a little bit poorly and they're in isolation yes, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, this is what we're doing. So, <laughs> say hi to everybody. Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping well. So here I am after doing uh, some visitations, doing some different stuff that I needed to do. And I'm now back home. And again, you know, uh, now I have to be careful as well, even just right now as I'm coming home. So I have my blue gloves and, you know, changed them where I needed to change them. And so now I need to take off the gloves properly and uh, do what needs to be done and, and, and to actually get rid of the gloves now as well. And of course, uh, with that in mind, I have hand sanitizer at home and I have hand, hand sanitizer at the car if I haven't been using my gloves. So I'll take off the gloves and then when I go into the house, I'll sanitize my hands again, you know, with the hand sanitizer, good stuff. And I have some hand sanitizer here. Um, so remember why, why I'm doing this. I just want to show you simply this is that we're still caring as much as we can in pastoral care and using all the technology that we have to use. But in some situations, some situations, of course, nobody's sick, but necessarily, but we still have to do social distancing. And of course, we're going to follow the guidelines where possible to just use a phone call or use a video phone or whatever way, use one of those things. But sometimes there is that need for that face-to-face -face, uh, conversation. Of course, it depends on how much time and it, lots of different things come into place, the distance of somebody and trying to get to everything. And, and now at the moment, there's a lot of pastoral work happening online, different ways of doing it that way. And so still preparing messages and so forth and so on. And so with that in mind, you know, these gloves then go into the bin. And of course, I'm disinfecting the car and so forth and so on, as I said. But remember, you know, this is all about, you know, adapting to work with the government what way we can, adapting in what way we can. But at the same time, being wise, being wise to the situation, staying in faith, staying in a place of ministry, of serving one another, of loving one another. And same way, likewise for you, if you're called to visit someone, you know, this pastoral care does not just happen by pastors. You know, pastoral care, loving one another is actually for all of us. And But we're called to love one another and to be wise with it. And so be wise with who you care for, whether it's family members or others, as you go about your business. And uh, do show care as we go through these crazy times at the moment. And uh, protect yourself, you know, keep safe. And as you do that, you're actually... Uh, protecting others as well now we're not to be in fear we're not to let it, these things stop us from doing what needs to be done but at the same time to be wise and so stay safe be blessed and be a blessing go and be a blessing uh, that's all I just wanted to share that with you just so you know some of the stuff that's going on day to day God bless you from Good News Christian Church and Pastor Tom Hoban